Hey, welcome to Kate Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a sweet little card featuring coaster critters from Lawn Fawn. Let's get started. To kick things off, here are all the critters that I will be using from Coaster Critter Stamp Set. I've gone ahead and cut and colored everything off camera, and here is the cute little adorable bear from Car Critters that I am adding into the mix because isn't he just the cutest sitting behind that little vending thing kiosk? I'm not sure what they're called. Um, yeah, <laughs> I still don't know what it's called and I'm, I think I was going to look it up and then forgot. But all I'm doing here is I am trimming down the piece of paper to this little bear because I do not have the die set yet for this stamp set. And I'm going to color around the back of him just to kind of give him a little bit of maybe sky or something. I just didn't like how stark white it was behind the little um, booth. Yeah, booth. We'll call it a booth because that's probably what it is. And it's late and it's always late and I'm tired. <laughs> Actually, I'd already had this video ready to go and I accidentally deleted it and you get the watered down version tonight. I had added all the color in and I was going to start doing the voiceover for that, but for some reason I deleted it in iMovie and I don't know how to retrieve stuff like that. So that's why I took out the coloring, because it's late. So here we have the four square backdrop in Portrait. And I'm going ahead and cut that out twice, once from the All the Dots paper, and again from the Into the Woods Remix paper. And I've gone ahead and cut down a piece of white paper, just scrap paper that I had, and I'm going to use that as my base to glue onto the card base, if you know what I mean. So this just kind of gives me a little bit extra thickness to what I'm going to do here. So here I'm taking the little squares that I've cut out from the four square backdrop die and I'm just dropping them into the little holes that have been left. Now my idea behind this card was to create like a little Polaroid kind of thing if Polaroid was four square. I don't know if Polaroid ever did that back in the I think it was the 80s I had one, or somebody had one. Anyway, I wanted to kind of create like a, like almost like a scrapbook page, or like a memory page, or, you know, something you'd stick to your mirror as a kid, because you went to the carnival with all your friends, and took lots of goofy pictures that your, you know, your mom was so good enough to take to the Photoshop to develop for you, and now you've got all these little cutouts of you and your friends to pin to your bedroom mirror, if that makes sense. But yeah, as a kid I'd had a giant bedroom mirror on my dresser that had all sorts of pictures and doodles and whatnot all scattered around the edge of the mirror and that's kind of what I was thinking about when I was putting together this card to create almost like, you know, a memory of a really awesome day with some really awesome friends and just being a kid because these, these little guys are tiny and I just think they're so stinking cute. So all I'm doing here is I'm taking the bunny and I'm going to place her behind the little go-kart, or not go-kart, but I guess roller coaster cart, or maybe it's a bumper car. I'm not 100% sure. It could be a bumper car, but it could also be part of the roller coaster. So we're going to call it a bumper car because we've already got a roller coaster. So we're just going to put the little booth with the little bear up in this corner here. And then we're going to tuck this little guy, um, the fox. I think it is. Yeah, it's a fox. And we're going to put him down here and we're going to give him some balloons. And we're going to scatter a bunch of little things around him. Just to kind of, almost like it's, you know, you're putting stickers around one of your friends. So... I just, I don't know, I thought this was really tiny and really cute, and this was the first time I had worked with this stamp set, which I think I got it back in December. I had found somebody who was selling it, and uh, they were good enough to sell it to me, and I was quite pleased, and I let them know that this went to a very good home, because I think this stamp set is really cute, especially with the new Lawn Fawn release that comes out on Thursday. Uh, at the time of this recording, it is February 21st, and I am thrilled for the next release. The next release has a 
um, Ferris wheel in it, and I just think it's going to look so darling to build an entire scene of circus and roller coasters and amusement park kind of thing. Next, they need like a little miniature clown set or something, or like circus act kind of thing. I think that would be kind of neat to add to this, like a little mini circus act. So anyway, enough of my dreaming. All I'm doing here is gluing down all the little extra bits and bobs that I'd cut out and colored and making sure that eh, they're relatively even, I guess. I mean, I probably could have stamped out way more and put way more on, but we're just going to leave it at that. So once I've got everybody stuck down here, I'm going to grab the little trail of um, roller coaster carts and I'm just going to put them down there on the bottom right, just to kind of tie everything in. So we've got our little Polaroid with our little signature roller coaster carts. And this banner die is from Fantastic Friends, and I thought it would look great with everything going on here. So I've got the life with you is, and then on the inside, we are going to stamp our sentiment. So once I've put some glue on this one, I will off-center it, kind of off-angled it, and yeah, there's my card panel. So next up, we are going to reinforce the score. As you can see on the inside, it's a thrilling. And I've got the measurements marked on the card here, but I end up cutting them down because I kind of wanted to put the, the four-square backdrop on a bit of an angle, slightly askew, but it didn't quite work out that way, so I ended up having to cut down the card because, you know, it's just this is sticky glue. <laughs> See, you can see here, I think, oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I accidentally dropped it, and then it kind of got squished, and oh, geez, yeah. I'm just going to go with this. So I try to pick it up, and it's like, no, I don't want to wreck it, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And then I'll pull out my guillotine trimmer here, and I will trim everybody down. So this is my Fiskars trimmer. This is just a small trimmer. I, I think this thing is a total game changer. Eventually, I would like to get a larger one to fit larger paper, but I make do with what I have. So once that's cut down, it's time to add the embellishments. Uh, these are some high supply embellishments that I have, and they're flat back half pearls. Uh, I looked on the high supply website, and I think the closest one they had was called... Um, I think it was a, a beach pearls or something like that, but they had a little bit more color in them. I thought the, the greens and the blues and the pinks in this set of uh, high supply half pearls was perfect for the color scheme that I chose for this. Uh, it's just so fun and bright and it's really busy and I really like how busy this card is because it kind of reminds me of the whirlwind of being a kid and getting to, you know, go down to the carnival at the riverfront and, you know, just enjoy life. And here's my finished card. I love how busy this is because it's so little and cute with lots of fun colors. And as always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.